Welcome back to Man, Woman, Love, Revolution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. In our last session, we learned that principal calls the wife and mother the object partner. It sounds second best, but is it really? True Father said, What has God been seeking all this time? He has not been seeking a subject partner, but rather an ideal object partner. God has been seeking an object partner because love comes from the object partner. Father said, by himself or herself, a person cannot realize love. From where does love come? Love does not originate from me. It comes from my spouse. The object partner is where love comes from. Therefore, Father said, since love comes from my spouse, I must bow my head and serve her. Thus, God needed to create the ideal object partner, the position of the wife. True Father said, does God need a son only? God knew ahead of time that he needed a pair, which would include a daughter. A son living by himself would be like a person with one foot. He also said, what would have happened if God's creation had stopped with man and not included woman. For only one to exist would be the same as having no existence at all. Father applied this to Jesus as well. He said, Jesus knew that God was looking forward to having his only begotten daughter, and he applied it to the Unification Church in the history of searching for one man. If you have reached the point of finding that man, then, as the next step, you must search for a woman. The movement which proposed to search for a woman was the Unification Church we have today. Search for her means that she already exists. Now, if she exists, then it means she was already created by God. The question arises, who comes first, the man or the woman? Or do they both appear at the same time? We'll talk about that in the next session. Thank you for watching.